everyone, welcome to Mama From Scratch. My name is Emily, if you are new, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a couple of fall DIYs that you might have seen actually in my fall home tour. If you haven't seen them yet, I'll leave an eye on this guy and also link down below for you to go watch next. But today I'm gonna to be sharing with you super easy and very inexpensive ways that you can decorate your house and personalize your decor. And this is also in collaboration with Christina, the DIY mommy, and this is part of her fall DIY and decor challenge. I will leave that playlist link down below for you to go watch everybody else's ideas and get lots of inspiration and motivation for fall. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I absolutely love to inspire and motivate you here, sharing lots of different DIYs, decorating these, home improvement projects, and lifestyle videos. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with these beautiful DIYs. For this project, I am using quite a bit of Dollar Tree items, so know that you can shop there and find some dish towels that actually have the same type of pattern on them in black and white. The first thing I do is take my ribbon after I um, fold my piece of material in half, and I'm just going to tighten that and pull that down to the very end there. And then I'm going to take my glue gun and glue just the one side down, and then I'm going to fold it inside out, or right side out. And then I'm going to take my rocks and place those down the bottom. You want some weight to fabric pumpkins, otherwise they just roll every different direction. Then I did, took my stuffing and stuffed it, and then you can take another rubber band and tie it around the very top if you want. But in this case, I'm just using a piece of twine. Use what you have. Then I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm just going to go up down the each side. And I'm going to twist it around the top knot and then pull it down. You want it to be slightly tight, that way you create those divots like it would have in a natural pumpkin, all the rippling on the sides, and I'm just tying it there at the very bottom. Then I'm taking my Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm going to be wrapping this around the stem. I love the way this ribbon looks on here and I'm just gluing it down as I go. And then I decided to add a leaf um, as well from one of the Dollar Tree picks and this is how the pumpkin came out. I used two different types of twine on it as well as two different ribbons. Use what you have. I'm just using what I have and I think it's really, really cute. Now I'm going to show you another way you can make the fabric pumpkins. Again, I'm using my rocks, but you can use um, sandbags if you wanted to. You can wrap this up and then use the rubber band to tie it around. But I wanted a slightly different look for this one, and so I wanted to see if I glued each of the fabric pieces side by side together, if I could get a slightly different look, a little poutier of a pumpkin, and it worked. Then I just took a piece of twine and tied that around the stem area, and then I tied it again around the stem, kind of working my way around, tying a knot. Um, and then I went around that, and I did um, six uh, pieces of twine on this one that way it would um, because it was a little bit of a wider uh, pumpkin and then I took some gray ribbon and I wanted the stem to be a little bit darker on this one I started wrapping it around and I kind of curled my ribbon on the very bottom edge that way it kind of made like a um, beefier stock to it basically a stem and then I just glued that down and I really like the way this one came out. I didn't do any leaves on this one. I just used the twine as like kind of like the leafy stem part. And I just think it's really cute. It's very um, rustic looking and I like it. And I also made another one using the pine cone as the stem and a little floral sprig as well. On my computer, I'm just using Word and I type out whatever I want it to say. I go over, highlight it and go to the insert button and then go down to this A and then I click um, one that has an outline. Then I'll go to the little A that says transform on it and it will pick the straight transform. That way I can drag it however large or small I want the word to be. And then here I'm just showing you the different fonts I am using for this and I used one for the pumpkin and one for the homegrown. You can use whatever you would like. It's super easy and then just print it out. You're gonna put this inside of your pillow cover and my pillow cover, if it would have been white, um, you would have actually been able to see the words through it and you could just trace it with a pen or with your paint. And, but I couldn't see on top of it, so I wanted to try something else. I decided to wing this and it worked out awesome. So I flipped it over and I decided to just trace my words on the back with the fabric paint that I can get at the Dollar Tree. I've used this before and it works really good. It holds up to kids and washing. 
So um, I decided just to trace out my letters on the back of the paper. And I didn't do a super thick coat because I was experimenting with this as I was filming it. I just did a light uh, coverage with it and of course the homegrown was really thin lettering as well. And then for the pumpkin part I did add a little bit more because it, the lettering was a slightly bigger on this. And then all I did was um, measure it out on this side with the paint still on the upper side and I wanted to get make sure I um, had it even on each side. And then I just put my ruler on the very bottom. That way I could use that as where I needed to, you know, set that at. And then I just flipped it over. Make sure you do have a piece of paper or newspaper underneath the first layer of fabric in between the layers, basically on the inside of your um, pillow because it will bleed. Then I just pressed out and I did not use um, very much paint. So I just wanted to make sure it was kind of rubbed on there, but I knew it wouldn't bleed too much, you know, like spreading out. And then I just peeled it off and I was so happy that this worked, you guys. After seeing how well it worked, I definitely would say if you want to do a thicker coat of paint on the actual paper to transfer it, you definitely could. Um, I wish I would have done that to begin with, but I did not want to put the paper back on. Once you use the paper, don't use it again. Um, at least not with the paint wet. And then I just took the paint and started filling in the lines, making um, it ever thick or thin that I wanted it, and I connected it. And I like the fact that I used two different fonts for this. I think it makes it look really nice and definitely more on the vintage side, and that is exactly what I was looking for. I absolutely love the way this DIY came out. I hope that you guys can make one yourselves. And if you do, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you decide to make. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to make the fabric pumpkins, seeing the different ways that you can make them. So really use anything you have in your house and create something beautiful for whatever season you might be decorating for. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and be sure to check out the playlist link down below for more inspiration. I wish you all a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.